go home, Dad. The kids want to go home? Mm -hmm. Okay. Me and Maya want to go home. Well, you girls have done great today. We are John and Michelle, and we believe memories are more valuable than material possessions. That's why we waved goodbye to 2,400 square feet of house and said hello to our 35-foot fifth wheel. We are dumping now and heading to Nebraska. So we'll see what Nebraska has to offer. We don't have any reservations, but we caught a, we have a few spots in mind where we think we'll probably stay, um, if not in a Walmart parking lot again, <laughs> or a Gander Mountain, Cabela's, whatever. So um, we're finishing up dumping the tanks and we'll see you in Nebraska. water solution like I said just a little bit of bleach but I figure maybe it's safer to do that and to just keep them in a steamy hot box and allow that mold and mildew and bacteria to grow I'll keep you posted and if you've got any tips let me know because I need to figure something out it's a better solution for storing my hoses. So 
we pulled in past the Bass Pro and we couldn't find a real good spot to pull in. So we came across the street, just really across the way. Camera. And there was a bunch of RVs been sitting in this parking lot over here and we thought we would just come over here and set up and it ends up being a casino. And it looks like there's full hookups here. $30 a night, $50 deposit. We're not staying at Horseshoe Casino. Um, we, it's right next to a Bass Pro in Council Bluffs, Iowa. And uh, they said that it was $20 a night plus a $50 deposit. I mean, we were gonna stay in a, a Walmart. So uh, I, would, I would happily uh, keep on trucking. Um, I don't I mean, I'm gonna get the deposit back, but why even bother? So um, that's cool, but we'll uh, head on to the next one and see what we can see. It's interesting that they have all these parking spots. With electricity and water? Yeah, with electric and water. Plus, I mean, not... if you're a gambler, that's pretty nice. Yeah. They're. Uh office here has a, a sign on it that says that the registration is actually in the casino so uh, I had to call and ask which again is not a problem um, oh there was nobody man in that station yeah there's nobody there so it's all good just gotta figure out how to get into the Bass Pro yeah back to plan B which is the Bass Pro and I'm walking in to see if they allow campers to stay in the parking lot and where they would like me to park. Politeness always pays off. And we are going to set up shop at this Bass Pro in Council Bluffs, Iowa. They said uh, it's all good to park here. Told me where specifically in the lot to be. So we're going to get it get her parked and taken care of and get some grub on the table. Is that slide gonna be too close to that tree? Okay. Mama, I told yeah. daddy, um, I told daddy this would be a good spot to um, Get a picnic blanket, get a picnic tablecloth out and get and lay it out under the tree and watch the sunset go down. Oh, you're right, it would be. Watch out! And to play frisbee. Yeah! Over my right shoulder, you'll see the Yankton Dam, and over my left shoulder, off in the distance, is the campground that we're staying at. It's Cottonwood COE. This place is beautiful. Now, we're just starting to get our legs under us in terms of experience camping at COEs, and they just keep getting better. I can't say enough good things about this one. It's got uh, playgrounds, which is always a great plus for us having the kids. It's got uh, nice level sites paved in parts. Uh, it also has 
great facilities and that spectacular lake next to it, which is nestled right next to the Missouri River at the Nebraska and South Dakota border. Look up at the birds that are singing Songs that make me think of when we were young and didn't care Man, those were the days How'd we get so far from that place All the happy promises we made and couldn't keep Wonder why we didn't stay I know this ain't easy But we're both gonna make it through You have to believe me Cause I believe in you I believe in you I believe in you This is the Calumet Bluff Trail? Yeah, it's uh, one, let's see, 0.9 miles on the way there and then another 0.9 on the way back. So it's an in and out. It says it's easy, but there are some pretty steep hills and um, you have to cross a creek, which is on some logs. Uh, it was fine for us, but it's not as easy as most easy marked trails are. Good, yay! Good job! The uh, kids had some spots where they needed some assistance uh, going in, but on the way out, we kind of uh, goaded them a little bit to try it themselves first, and they did a great job. Yeah, they did really good. Um, it's not a bad hike. It's actually a good little short day hike, day hike. And the views at the end are magnificent and totally worth it. If you are going with little ones, there are some pretty steep drops um, off the side. So just be aware of that. There's uh, literally a cliff. I mean, it's, yeah. it's straight down to the water. And um, that was pretty intense, kind of looking out over that. I hadn't seen drops like that probably since we went to the Grand Canyon. Right. So to have kids now, um, it was definitely a situation where we wanted to keep them back, allow them to kind of get the experience, but from a distance because there's no guardrails or anything like that. It's just a, a walk right up to the edge, straight drop. So and definitely exercise caution. Yeah, and you don't really notice it until you walk right up on it. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, because of all the grass. But all in all, Calumet Bluff, that was a good hike. Yeah, great hike. Loved it. <laughs> Back we go through the woods. We walked all the way to the end of the line. Hey, Yep. Dad stepped all the way out to the edge. Now we're heading back to the truck. Yeah, because I want to go home. You can't go home, Dad. The kids want to go home? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to go home. Well, you girls have done great today. Some final thoughts on Cottonwood, COE in Yankton, Nebraska. This place was fantastic. Uh, we've stayed at private campgrounds that have not been this nice. And this place was actually cheaper than the previous COE that we had stayed at. And we got nicer amenities. So all in all, our experience here was awesome. We were only here for a couple of days, but we, we leveraged that to its full potential. We got out, did a hike, 
we got the uh, drone out and got some really breathtaking shots with that and we enjoyed time outside um, it was really the vision of what I would hope this life would be like we got to experience it over the last couple of days so um, if that is a sign of things to come I'm just tickled to death and very thrilled to be on this ride we've got some true boondocking coming up in the very near future so we'll be interested to see what that experience is going to be like excited to have you coming alongside us and experiencing that with us so i'm going to finish dumping the tanks and we'll head to mitchell south dakota because i believe in you i believe in you I believe in you You said when we got here that the idea of stuff in the black tank sloshing around kind of grossed you out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's more gross than that. When you get to the dump station and you take your cap off of your uh, drain tube and it belches out at you. <laughs> 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 but I think it's whatever <laughs> last that kind of seeps in there and uh did it just do been, that that would have been the shower yeah <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>